Hello and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Today we are going to be showing you, or I'm going to be showing you, how to do a wash. Not to be confused with how to wash. Lots and lots of people get really wound up about how to do washes. They go to, along to an art class, they have a go at doing a wash, they can't do them, and then they give up painting. So from the start, I'm gonna tell you, you do not have to be able to do this, and you do not have to be able to do it perfectly. It is very rare that you are required to do a perfect wash. However, should you wish to do a wash, I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, Tutorial Tuesday happens, funnily enough, every Tuesday, and you will find the links for that down in the description box somewhere down there. Um, so have a look down there and you'll find lots of other things that you can learn to do. Um, also, you might want to press our subscribe button as well. So uh, have a look at those. So, some important things that you need. You need a big, soft brush, preferably a watercolour brush. Um, this is just happens to be one of my favourite brushes, so I'm using this one, okay? So you need a nice flat end brush. It's no good doing it with a round-ended brush. Uh, round-ended brushes, for those of you who are not quite so familiar, look like that. So or there's an obvious change, difference between those two. Right, so you need a flat-ended brush. Depending on how big the wash area is going to be, depends on how bigger brush obviously that you need to use so if you're only doing it in a really really tiny area you might want to use a really really tiny brush you also need lots of water this is a really really wet process every different paint has a different kind of energy and if I had to describe this process I would say it's like the yoga of watercolor it is the most relaxing, most spiritual aspect of painting. It's a very, very gentle process. It's literally just simply going across like that, going across your page like that. There are a couple of rules. I know I'm always saying that there are no rules in art. This is one of the few that has a rule, okay. Watercolour has more rules than anything, than any other, um, painting simply because it, it it's more technical than others. The rule is, whatever you start up here, you don't stop until you get it to the bottom and you must start this side, go across there and then you, you never, never come back this way. Oops. You never, never come back this way, all right? You only ever go that way. This is as easy as that. Okay, so to start with, I'm only gonna do this this wash down to about here. Okay. Okay, so that would be a what a normal sort of sky size. You can also see that I've got a piece of tissue here, and that's so I can dump a couple of clouds nicely in the sky. So we'll do that as we go along as well. <clears throat> so we're going to start off by putting in loads and loads of water. Depending on what paper you've got, if you've got really, really good quality paper, you might find that you need a lot more water. Sometimes um, different papers suck up different, different amounts of water, so just be aware of that. You do need to have it quite wet. Wherever you put your water, the paint is going to go, so make sure, can you see that, I don't know if you can see that, but make sure you don't bring your water down any further than the line. That, you've, that you wanted to come down to, okay? Because your paint is gonna go wherever you put your water. Then, you put quite a lot of water into your paint. Now, don't be afraid if you pick up too much paint because it's gonna dissipate as it comes down the page. So, remember, we start at the top and we work our way down no matter what happens in this corner. All right, so we're gonna go up the up. And that's just like stroking a cat. We're just going to hook over. And can you see the way it brings it down? So slow and quiet. Just brings it down. I'm just going to keep going like that until you get to the bottom. Now, I'm not particularly pleased about these bits on the side here, so I'm just going to go straight back to the top without putting any more paint on. Okay, I'm going to brush those out. 
so many people get really wound up about doing washes and it's such a shame because it puts people off completely please don't you don't want to press too hard either if you press too hard then you get streaks so you're just linking over if you want that to go darker okay you just pick up some more paint okay you start at the top and you just start again and you can keep on doing this for as long as you like depending on the quality of your paper largely if your paper is cheap paper then obviously it will scuff if you use too much water on it right so I just want to even that out a little bit more so I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna add any more paint I'm just gonna start at the top again Can you see the way that that's evening out oh, I'm getting some buckle on this you can straighten your paper before you start. I've always, I've always had absolute disasters with straightening paper, so I tend to like to buy much better quality paper. Right, I'm gonna show you a quick technique here of how to put clouds in. You have to be fairly quick, so I'll see if we've been quick enough here, of how to put some clouds in. <clears throat> so you've got your nice summer day, you're lying on the beach, you've got cloudless sky. Let's just play God for a second. This is also a nice trick. If you've really screwed up your, your wash and it's turned into a bit of a mess, there's no reason why you can't just pick out the messy bits by popping in a few clouds. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. There you go, just pop in a few clouds. So, that's a wash. Okay, it really is as easy as that. You don't have to get wound up about it. And if you can't do it, please don't give up watercolour because it really isn't the be all and end all of watercolour. If you've got any comments about this, then please just put them in the comments box. Subscribe to us and have a look at the description box for any of our other hints, tips or anything else that you want to find out about us. Thanks very much.